We've been traveling the world as digital nomads, working really hard in the week and exploring lesser known places on the weekends all over the world for almost a year. We've spent the last two months exploring the incredible Georgia and for Christmas break, decided to go to Gudari to learn and ski for the first time ever and have our first ever white Christmas. Come along as we put on skis and snowboards for the first time ever. Have our first ski lesson, try and try and try again on the slopes. Have a white Christmas in the great Gudari Loft Hotel and then, well, you're gonna have to watch to the end to see why we get stuck in an apartment for five days in a ski resort. We're on our first ski lesson and snowboard lesson. Yes. I'm gonna ski, Jared's gonna snowboard. <laughs> and we are excited. Totally not gonna fall. And it's cool when we went for coffee with our Russian English friends. It was minus 16. So, first impressions of skiing, it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff, like from, I mean we've never done it before, so literally from how to put on your ski boots, how to clip in, how to clip out, how to carry your skis, and it gets heavy, how to climb up with your skis up the slope, how to stop, generally quite scared and cautious. So you, when I start going, I'm like, I'm gonna die now, <laughs> but it's quite exhausting, eh? It's been quite a... It's been quite a week, haven't been sleeping much, haven't been eating well, been stressing a lot. Traveling is amazing, but when you're far from home and things happen at home, then it's very hard. So I don't think our bodies are in optimal condition for sport activities. It's hard from walking up the mountain because the, the ski lift isn't working. So it was awesome though, getting a hang of it, similar to wakeboarding. Yeah. Just you can't really put your weight in front of you, otherwise you fall face first. Highly recommend doing skiing or snowboarding lessons. Uh, we're walking to dinner. It's minus 19 degrees, feels like minus 24, or real feel minus 24. It's quite cold, but it's not that cold. I think we just like equipped. We came with the right clothing. So we just got into a hotel for Christmas and we booked apartments everywhere, but for Two days of Christmas and three days of New Year's, we decided to book nicer hotels so we can feel more like in the Christmas and New Year spirit with stuff at the hotels and restaurants. And when we got here, they actually upgraded our room to a room that's double the price that we booked, which is a really nice Christmas present, I guess, because <laughs> it's well the 24th today. A quick tour. Staying at Godowry Loft for Christmas. It's totally foul. He like did a flip and then landed on his head. Ina. All the hotels are in Old Gadari and all the apartments are in New Gadari. So we are now for the first time in Old Gadari at the hotel we're staying, and it's basically at the bottom of the slopes where New Gadari is at the top, but you can just take ski lift. The bathroom with the shower. There's a little couch and a TV and a area thingy. And look at this view. So we're like on one of the slopes so we can watch the people ski and snowboard and that's been really cool like watching people and like learning a bit from them the past few hours. And we don't know if that's a snow machine or like a night skiing lights because apparently here they have one of the biggest like artificial snow, snow machine stuff um, which is really cool. I'm really struggling to get the grips of this skiing situation because I feel like I, I just want to stop when it goes fast. I'm struggling to turn. And we're standing at our room window here watching the people ski. And Jared's pointing out old ladies at me that's trying to ski. And he's like, if she can do it, you can do it. And But the kids are the worst. They're like these babies that just come down the slopes at a speed and do turns. And it's just, they just make you feel so bad. But that old honey that's learning to ski made me feel a bit better now. So I think I can do this today. Try and book a place that has like a ski in, ski to door, 
type of thing because you know it'll be close to slow because it's very expensive getting around you with a taxi um, and you can't really walk much so otherwise it's just going to be a mission paying every time to get to a slope with all your skis and stuff not fun it's the 24th it's almost christmas and it's been a very very hard week but i think we got the best ever christmas present and that everything will be okay it's just like these doctor stuff hey it's just test on test monday you think cool this test then tuesday you think you will know and then tuesday they don't know another test and then wednesday they want another test and then they say the doctor's gonna phone in the evening um with the results and then they're like no you have to come in it's another test like it's been a week of tests and tests and not knowing and going into hospital and everything but i think it's okay now you feel very guilty when you're not home, when things happen, to be there. You feel very guilty to enjoy anything when somebody isn't feeling well um, and in hospital. And I think now I can enjoy Gudari because it's so amazing, but I really haven't been able to take it. prayers and just a lot of prayers and a lot of chanada. I don't know what it is in English. So, obviously if you don't have your own gear, um, it's a lot different, it, the guys are higher is higher, rental is rental. Um, so we had, when we were learning, we had a different set of gear, um, and then because we, we're moving a lot between upper, new and old Godari, so we didn't want to like rent and carry stuff down and up because it's a bit of a mission with all our bags. So yesterday we just got some other gear and the shoes weren't the nicest. I think that's like the biggest thing. Eh? If like the first thing you want to purchase shoes, is like yeah. your ski shoes or snowboard shoes, they're different type of shoes. Um, so I got new ones, but these things are so heavy. Like I'm pretty sure they're like at least 3k each. They're probably like, no, they're probably more. Hey, 5k, they're so heavy. Often at times, the more expensive the shoe, the lighter it is. So I've learned to always push my luck when going to the ski rentals and ask them for the lightest shoe they can give me. So we ski from like that, there's like a very high thing. So we don't go up there. We go like to like about there. And then we go down to here. And then you have to walk the mountain back up. So and you walk, and you walk. So you're not chicken to take the lift. Yes. But well, we're not ready. I haven't ready for that yet. <laughs> into a bit of an ice bank it's quite deep here so it's quite hard to get up so I'm just gonna lay here for a bit so I have the energy to get up because when you have these humongous you see that humongous has flippers on it's quite hard to get up hey. hello I tried to get up so I just decided to lay <laughs> Hello. Came... Look, he joined me in the snow pile. <laughs> he came rolling in as well. Now we both have to try and get up. <laughs> you no know, problem. I see all the time going up on the hill with the skis. Yeah. You should like go down. You know. That's what... <laughs> it's very hard to manage. Oh, That's what I was telling her. <laughs> Where are you from, guys? South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. It's good. Wine, yeah? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh... But we are the country of the beginning of the wine. The oldest wine yeah. that discovered was. Yes. Yeah. But you are. We just keep to practice a little bit more. Yeah. But you definitely try our wines also. Oh, yeah. No, we have. Yeah. We've tried many. We've tried many. <laughs> This is something I struggled with so much when skiing for the first time. I was so scared of being in somebody's way so that somebody would ski into me. And I know the good people will ski around you, but there's a lot of people learning. So what if they can't stop either and then ski into you? Let's try it. 
Yankee Space Yard. It's coming! Woohoo! Look at that turn! There we go! Woo! Also, my ski boots are hurting my foot. They're like, it started tingling, like, you know, like the blood hasn't come through. So I've taken off my boot for a bit. Just rest it. Looks like I'm at the beach, but I'm not. Also, as an inexperienced snow, I was wondering, can I, when I get thirsty, just like eat the snow? Because it's water. You know, and you can't carry like a water bottle with you. Probably can, but like, we fall too much. So can I just like drink it as water? But I should to give it deeper to like the cleaner snow people. I don't know, I've been standing on and dogs I haven't been peeing on, but getting better it's hot today though jared went to go get the sunscreen because i think we are burning our faces with our reflective and we like ride skiing into the sun today the ski uh, instructors they ski like backwards with you when you go down a good slope so they can catch you and hold you it must be so good being able to ski backwards that's insane a reminder that for every new subscriber we feed or donate a meal for a stray animal so subscribe if you want to help you can also visit www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash kinfolk travels to donate meals for only the price of a takeaway coffee. There he goes! Woohoo! Me, on the other hand, I'm just struggling to stand. That is a tired man after climbing mountains and snowboarding. So I have a bit of a mountain to climb before I go down again. What you did not see in these videos is Jared trying to help me learn to ski, holding my hand as I ski and me gaining speed and not letting go of his hand and dragging him over the mountain. Also Jared carrying my skis when I'm tired. Thanks Jared. It is very exhausting and one of the most exhausting things are trying to take off your shoes afterwards. It's very hard. Luckily most hotels and apartments have like this little I don't know what they call it, ski depot, and then you just go from the slope to the in the door, and then you walk down, and then you've got all these lockers and stuff close by. But it's very hard to walk in ski shoes, especially like downstairs, like with these stuff, walking down slippery stairs. Oh, it's very hard. My whole body is shaking. I'm so tired. It's really exhausting. My whole body is shaking. I can't even hold the camera still. It's like everything is like all my muscles are dead. <laughs> it was fun. Jacuzzi time. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. And then night skiing today, and we can watch them from the jacuzzi. I want night ski. You can go. And at night, they clean the slopes, or like not clean, but they, what do you call it? They make it flat? They're flat. They're flat. All they, like, they, they make it nice for the next day. They go and um, flatten it and. Um, they do clean it. And there's so many slopes that so they have to do that on all the slopes. Four months of like 24 hours running and then the place closes for summer. It's just basically dead. Everything is basically closed. Summer hotels are completely closed. Did you? Very beautiful today. <laughs> watching the people ski and they're so good they make it look so easy <laughs> and then you're excited to ski and then you get on the slopes and it's like <laughs> uh, yeah. also with that high school you, there's just buttons you press for like bill and to call them it is really nice we don't live like this all the time <laughs> it's two days of christmas and so we booked in our town for new year's as well we're not really doing we're not doing christmas presents this year really because they're like spending that money like on just staying in a nice hotel <laughs>
of skiing yesterday. My throats were a little sore yesterday morning, but it was fine during the day. And then last night we started feeling so sick. And this morning, I swear it's all so sore. My ears are so sore. I hope we're not getting sick. We just got into our new apartment and hopefully we'll be staying here for about five days until New Year's. So we go to Godawa Lodge, which is like the reason we're so excited to come here because the hotel looks amazing with like an outdoor hot swimming pool. These apartments in New Gudari, they've built like hundreds of apartment, not hundreds, but a lot of apartment blocks and they're all very new and it's actually quite well done. Like if you look at this bathroom, it's such a nice shower. So like, remember Thomas? It's got an awesome shower head. Look at this roof, it's like a washing machine. I'm so excited about this washing machine. I cannot describe it in words. So excited about this dishwasher, but I'm more excited about the washing machine. Look at this shower, it's so nice. I'm so excited about the dishwasher, but I'm more excited about the washing machine. Excited backing up. So like the rest of Europe, you can't drink the water. So we've been carrying around bottles of water with us. Also, this is our first place in like, I don't know, six months that has a microwave. This is really nice. The two of being on holiday and being sick. Do not recommend. It's day three of being sick. It is day four of being sick. We've been inside this apartment for four days, just resting up. We've actually been quite chilled about it, I feel, because we haven't been going out skiing or doing nothing and our friends are here. But um, we haven't really rested this entire year, so I think our bodies are just like, cool, it's time to rest. <laughs> and we've just been catching up on series and movies and sleep. Um, so it's been okay. It's just... It's just really sucky being at an awesome ski resort and sitting inside not being able to ski. But hopefully tomorrow is day five. They usually say a cold last five days, or like the worst part of it. So hopefully tomorrow we can go out and ski. I think everybody at that resort got a little sick. The waiters were sniffing and coughing. People were cramped into spaces when it was cold outside. I think it's quite normal. After isolating ourselves for a few days, we felt better and we're ready for New Year's in the best hotel in Gudari. Make sure to subscribe to not miss the next one. Thank you for watching.